so while I've spent a lot of time discussing a, a bunch of different things and I haven't really shown you some beautiful features yet, uh, I do want to go over the fact that this is also a full digital audio workstation. Um, not only do we have the audio effects built in, um, but every one of these uh, tracks has track dynamics and track dynamics could include things like, well, in this case, this is an interview, so we know that there's a lot of voiceover. Um, and on the audio one track, which I've got selected, right, dynamics audio one, I might want to, um, I might want to automatically duck my music track while the interview bytes are talking. So if I enable the compressor and adjust my threshold and my ratio, maybe my attack and release timing, right, for how aggressively it ducks, then I would send this, right, to the side chain, choose my music track here, and open dynamics on music track, A4, okay? And uh, then I would choose to listen, enable my compressor and listen. Now in this case, I've already dropped it 36 dB, so that as I play over these interview bytes, right, the audio, uh, the music is at a certain level, and then, and then the music uh, would allow the voiceover to cut through by dipping the level automatically as it finds that they're competing. Uh, but this is how you would set it. So there's a number of features that you can do there uh, with the compressor. The EQ is per track, six band EQ per track. And um, in the inspector, any of these clips, again, the inspector is a unifying element across all pages. Uh, in the inspector, you'll find you also have a four band EQ. So you have four band EQ across each clip, um, a six band EQ here across every track, Okay, and um, we're essentially we're doing a a direct or a fixed bus um, right now, but I have I have flex busing enabled, so this will actually show me the ability to uh, to see buses separately. Um, like if I were to enable the automation tools, you can see the automation tools are available um, for writing faders if you're into digital audio workstation work and this makes sense to you um, then you'll automatically recognize what these tools will do i'm not going to spend um, any more time really demonstrating how they work right now